Hello and welcome to a dev named Josh. I'm a dev named Josh and this is my first ever YouTube video. So I guess let me know how I do in the comments below. Uh, but today we're gonna go over the Godot engine. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about Godot 4 and even more specific than that, we're going to download Alpha 12, which is the one of the latest versions from uh, Godot 4, which is still an alpha. Uh, obviously there's still bugs, we should expect that. But what I really wanted to go through was just talking about uh, Godot 4 and specifically for beginners. So let's talk about it. In order to get Godot 4 and uh, Alpha 12 in particular, we need to come to the download page. You just go to the godotengine.org website, click on download, and it's gonna take you to the standard page. Now, we're not gonna download the standard version or the mono version, though I do love the mono version. And you can probably expect some uh, mono version to, uh, videos in the future. Um, Alpha 12 or Godot 4, it, it does not yet support the mono version of the engine. They're still working on it. It hasn't been released yet. The moment it is for Godot 4, I will, I will be all over that. But right now, <clears throat> the current release is 3.4.4. Um, so we can't use any of these versions. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to, right here, you can find previous releases on the download repository. And what you'll notice is this download repository doesn't just have the previous releases. It certainly does. You can go all the way to Godot 1.1. And you can go uh, to the previous versions of Godot, but there's also this 4.0. If we click on that, that's Godot 4. And then we can find Alpha 12 uh, right here. So we're gonna click on that. And now depending on your system or operating system, uh, you're gonna choose one of these. I'm on a 64-bit uh, Windows machine, so I'm gonna choose the Win64, uh, and I'm just gonna download it. We can see it downloading here at the bottom left. And it's just gonna take one moment to download. The awesome thing about Godot is that it's extremely lightweight. The moment we get done downloading this zip file, which is only 48.2 megabytes for Godot 4 Alpha 12, um, you're gonna notice that if we come over here, doo -doo -doo, and I'm just going to drop the zip right here. Uh, we're going to extract it here. Now extract the files here. And what that does, and ended up on my, another monitor here, but these are what comes out. It's the executable file. And <clears throat> uh, basically the kind of console backend for it. So both of these work together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a folder and I'm gonna call it Godot 4. Uh, and that's where I'm going to store it. You can, of course, store it somewhere else. Typically, I store mine uh, in a workspace fold folder, not on my desktop like this. But I'm just going to take both of these, drag them in, and then I don't need the zip anymore. And what's great is now uh, when you open it up, all you have to do to run Godot version 4 is run the executable. That's it. And it will open up uh, like so. I'm just going to pull it over here. So obviously I've downloaded Godot uh, 4 Alpha 12 before. Um, so when you first open this window on your side, you're probably gonna get a prompt that says there's no projects. That's fine. Just dismiss it because we're gonna create a brand new one. And the way we do that is we just click new project. And here in new project, I'm actually going to, let's see, I'm going to set my project path to desktop and then go to four and then I'm going to make a new folder called projects just so everything's in one spot and then I'm going to call it do, do, do. and then I'm going to call the project let's work on a twin stick shooter that's a very easy game to make Uh, and I apparently need to make this folder first. So I'm gonna call it uh, projects. And there we go. So now I'm just gonna store uh, all, of, all of my projects inside this project folder. And you can see it's already made the twin stick shooter folder uh, because I clicked on the create folder. 
And now this is the project path. It's going all the way into that twin, uh, twin stick shooter uh, folder. And then I'm just gonna hit create and edit. And it's gonna pop a good dough. And of course it ends up on another monitor. So let me drag that over. There we go. And when you first open Godot, this is what it's going to look like. Um, now, to give you a short uh, tour and explanation, over here on the left, you have your uh, scene window or scene panel. And what this does is it holds a reference to all of the scenes, okay? So a scene in Godot, we're gonna get more in detail about what a scene actually is, but a scene in Godot is essentially a collection of nodes uh, that make up a scene tree. So if I go ahead and click 2D scene there, we see that we get a node here. And then again, we're gonna talk about everything in detail as we go, but I just wanna give a tour of the editor first and we can add more nodes to it. I'll add another one and I'll add a control node perhaps. And then below that, I'll even add a, uh, we'll add a timer node, et cetera until we get uh, this kind of collection of nodes. And this is a scene by itself. What's cool about Godot is you can actually make, uh, you can actually make scenes out of nodes. So if I wanted this one in particular and all, all of the stuff below it to be a scene, I could right click, save branch as scene. Like I said, this is forming a scene tree. So when you select an individual node below the root, uh, that's a branch of the scene tree and you can cr make a scene out of it. So I'm just gonna call this my uh, scene. Okay, and I'm just gonna save it. And as you can see, we've entered, uh, or rather, we've packaged all those nodes that were below this one. And I'm just gonna name this real quick, my scene, so we don't get confused. And I'll call this root. We packaged all the nodes that were below it, that timer and that control node into this scene now. And you'll notice that when I saved it, it added my scene here, underneath this resource folder in the file system, uh, or file folder, file explorer, whatever this is. Um, this is where all of your resources will end up. Now, if you're familiar with something like Unity, then this, uh, the scene window is like the hierarchy and the file system is exactly the same like project uh, file system you'd see there. And then probably very familiar is the inspector over here on the right. If I click on a node, I can see all of its properties. It's transform, uh, which includes its position, rotation, scale, etc. cetera. Um, I can see its visibility. I can, I can do a lot of things. All the properties for a node, a given node will show up in the inspector when you click on it. So those are the most important uh, aspects to this. Now, additionally, we can actually change the layout. And I think that the default layout for uh, the panels is a little, uh, inefficient, personally. Uh, I think that having to move from the left side of the screen all the way to the right side of the screen in order to do work on what's happening in the middle, I, I don't like that. So what I typically do is I put everything on the right and then have my viewport on the left. And this is a, the way I uh, usually try to set up Unreal and Unity as well when I do it. So uh, what I do and the way that you set up your own uh, layout, you can right click and you can see that we can move this scene uh, panel to any of these locations. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the scene panel at the top left over here. And obviously the inspector window and this node window, which we will talk about more in detail, are also in the same position. So I want to move them uh, to the right of the scene window, just like that. All right. And I'm going to bring this over a little bit more. And then what I'll do is over here on the file system, or rather let's handle the import real quick. I'm gonna dock the import uh, behind the files, or where the, the file system and the import are gonna be kind of on the same panel, uh, just different tabs, but I'm gonna put them at the bottom left of the right side of the screen. And like that, and then I'm just gonna click and drag the uh, file system. I want it to be the first one. There we go. So this is typically how I work. Uh, I've got my scene, I've got my inspector, I've got my file system all right here, and then I can focus on the visuals on this side. Now, I'm not typically like having to go from one side of the screen to the other, it's all on the right side of the screen, nice and tidy. And now, you can save your layout. And for these tutorials, I'm going to use the same layout, and then we will be done. So real quick, I'm gonna save this root node um, as 
my like level. So I'm gonna call it, uh, I'm gonna call it my level. We are going to change all of this here in the future, um, but I'm just gonna save it so it's still here when I come back. And then what we can do is we can save this layout, okay? So if I come over here to editor, I can hit editor, editor layout, and then right here, we can save a layout, delete a layout. Uh, if you mess up or want the default layout back, you can hit default. I'll show you that in a moment. And then a list of whatever layouts you have saved will appear below it. So I already have one. I'm gonna save this layout as well. And I'm gonna call it my layout. And now if I save, uh, I can go back to editor real quick. And then I can go to editor layout. And what I can do is I can hit default and I can get back to that standard Godot uh, look and feel. If you're not happy with the way we change things around or the way you change them around, or if I like open my editor, like I start a new project, right? And uh, it it's probably gonna automatically lay everything out like this default thing again. I can go back to the editor, editor layout, and I can choose my layout and it will set everything back to the way that you like to work. Awesome. So in the future tutorials, we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about nodes and scenes in more detail. We're going to get into GD script. We're going to talk about actually like building a game, uh, a small twin stick shooter, just for an example. But that is all for this tutorial. And this has been a dev named Josh. Thanks for stopping by.